of the show for today. We're talking to Alana McLaughlin, and she's talking about uh, some of the uh, activities that are involved in the uh, commemoration of the 150th anniversary of the uh, Civil War. Now, Alana, uh, one of the things that uh, I think is important, uh, and, and you might be able to uh, sort of give us some information in reference to, is uh, some of the reading uh, uh, situations that uh, the, 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 that you find in, in, in your ability to be able to deal with your reading. Do you have any problems uh, reading, and, and, and what are some of the challenges that you see uh, in, in, in your reading experiences? Actually, I don't have any problems when I read. The only problem I have when I read is I need to focus, just put all my attention on the books that I'm reading, just put all of them. Cause see, when I'm reading, uh, when I'm reading to the class, I have to put my eyes on the book, and I have to concentrate and face them, and just really give it, give my concentration to the book that I'm, or the story. Or do you do you read to the class often in in, in, in your uh, school experiences? Yes and no, because sometimes we share because we write in our writers' notebooks, and sometimes we share those stories. We do that pretty often, so I think, yes, we do share often. And, and, and so with, with what we're saying about in the Civil War here, you will be able to go back to uh, your school and, and, and talk to some of your uh, friends about uh, this Civil War and about Harriet Tubman. And what, what, do you, what would you tell them about Harriet Tubman from what your experiences are? Well, when I go back, you know, I would go to some of my friends and say, hey, uh, hey, Trinity, hey, Alicia, hey, Bernicia, let's talk about the sesquicentennial or the 150th anniversary of the Civil War. And, you know, they would know completely what I mean because they're pretty smart girls. Like, from Trinity Owens to Alicia Kennedy to Bernicia Lake, they're all, like, my friends and they're pretty smart like me. They're still all smart and, and they're all into the uh, Civil War yeah. and all of you will be able to uh, perhaps know more about Harriet Tubman and uh, some of these other uh, great uh, women who, who played a real role in, in the uh, Civil War. Is, is that it? Yeah. Now, now wh wh what, what has your mother done in terms of trying to bring you about in terms of your reading ability? Well, sometimes she takes me to the bookstore to buy a book and then when I was in the bookstore, I came across this book called Among the Ghosts. You know, I flipped through it, read the teaser, and said, hey, Mom, I want this book. So she said, okay, let's buy it. And so I, I got it. Then when I flipped to the back page, I noticed that Amber Benson was Tara McClay on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the show, and I was like, I watch that show all the time, and, so and I recognize that face. You recognize them. You are, you know you know the characters, uh, the uh, author of that book. Is that yes. what you're saying? How do you happen to know the author of that book? Because uh, she starred as Tara McClay on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the show, and I watch that show uh, not often, but occasionally. And it's and and, and 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 so now she 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 puts it out in a book and uh, for, for children to young young children to read. And, and uh, are there many books like that that you know of? Yes, because I, this is the first book I've come upon that I know the author. Mm -hmm. I've heard I've heard of authors like David Shannon or all that, but this is the first real book that I came across that I know the author from seeing her on TV. Mm -hmm. And, and, and so you happen to know the authors of uh, a number of books. Not only do you know the, try to get the information, but you try to remember the authors and the series and et cetera. And they've got a lot of series in your school? Yes, they have a bunch of series like The Magic School Bus, I can, uh, No David, all the David books by David Shannon. All those books, they have a bunch of series of them, like science books, science papers. They have a bunch of series in my library. And so all of the, and, and so all of you have an opportunity at a certain time to uh, go yes. to the library and, and, uh -huh. and read? If we ask our teacher, we can go down to the library and pick out a number of books only if we return our books, because we have to take responsibility and uh, be respectful of the books because they cost money. And, 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 so you've, and, and so you've been uh, quite respectful of books and, and, and yes. responsibility and going to the library and checking out books. And, ex and even at, 
uh, in the third grade, you think that you can en encourage young people your age to become involved in the uh, celebration. We've got about five minutes. And, I, and involved in the celebration of this. Uh, I can't uh, make them understand because even though I ha I'm smart, I can make them think like an eight year old because most of them are not, and I can make them think like a kid because I am a kid. I may know things that maybe a 20, 13 year old would know. Mm -hmm. But I still can make them think like a child because I am one. Because I have the brain of a child, but I have the knowledge of somebody very older. Uh huh. And and, and so you think that uh, through that you can tell them, uh, and that's what we want you to do uh, by talking, by, by telling me what you're going to tell them, that you can tell them that they ought to get ready to uh, celebrate this 150th year uh, anniversary, not celebrate, they, they say not to say celebrate, but to commemorate this 150th year uh, uh, anniversary of the war between the North and the South that in a real sense gave Africans uh, their freedom with the 13th Amendment to the Constitution, the 14th Amendment, their citizenship rights, and uh, the uh, right to vote with the 15th Amendment. You think well, you can express that to them? Yes. Well, most of my kids are into arts and crafts, so I'll say, hey, y'all, can y'all make a poster of the sesquicentennial, the 150th anniversary of the Civil War? And they'd be like, uh, give me a couple facts that I can make it happen. I'll send them in some pictures, you know, give them some information, write them down some cards, and you know, they can make a heck out of a couple facts and some cards. They can make the greatest posters you have ever seen. Because once we made posters on animals that we picked, I picked the Canadian leopard, somebody picked the American alligator, you know, the meerkat, the monkey, but yeah, they are into arts and crafts, so I can have them like make a poster and hang it outside that says sesquicentennial. Okay, and so you, you, you think that as Tennessee prepares to uh, celebrate over the next five years, I mean next four years, I think up until uh, 2015, from now until 2015, uh, that uh, Tennessee is prepared to celebrate in the state of Tennessee uh, this, uh, 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 to celebrate the commemoration of this great uh, event and that both many activities took place in uh, the state of Tennessee. You think you can get that across to them as well? Yes, I, I can. Because, you know, I can get it across them because I know the words that will make them think like an eight-year-old, but I have the knowledge of somebody older, as I uh, recently said. And, 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 and so let me, uh, uh, as we get ready to wind this down, Alana, let me uh, see if we might be able to sort of summarize uh, what, we're trying, what, what, what uh, we are trying to accomplish here, because uh, you represent uh, what we consider to be the young person in a whole series that we're trying to create dealing with the commemoration of this great event. And uh, we want young people to know more about uh, the uh, commemoration. And we feel that if you can deal with the young people and talk to the young people in reference to it as you are doing now, they will say to themselves, well, you know that uh, she's only eight years old and she knows something about uh, what happened. And well, so I can do I, the same. I can't like, go out of class and say, hey, Trinity, do you want to know about the sesquicentennial? And she'll probably say, oh, yeah, let's learn about it. And I'll tell her about Harry Tumman and what Bowser and Tavestry did. And, you know, I'll explain to her, and then she can tell her friends and stuff like that. But, yeah, I can really get them to understand that because it means a lot to me for them to understand that because them being eight years old and understand, and understand like that, by the time they're 13, they'll be understanding physics. <laughs> it just, it really... It strengthens me to know that all the kids have the opportunity to learn about all the good stuff that comes with mm -hmm. learning. Mm -hmm. Very good. And Lana, we've got about a minute. Let me, uh, over this last minute, thank you for coming by and uh, giving us uh, that excellent information. And uh, I think that even though we might have, uh, in some instances, stumbled through it together, I think that uh, the uh, idea here was to uh, simply give uh, our audience an opportunity and give your uh, young people an opportunity to know that this is something that uh, a commemoration that's important to all ages. And I think that when we go down to uh, the uh, eight year olds, it also indicates that uh, all ages really mean all ages because if your group understand more about the uh, 
events leading up to this uh, commemoration, then certainly uh, the older uh, individuals and older children will also know. And I think that we can say that uh, Tennessee will have a successful uh, commemoration of this uh, great event. And of course, let me encourage our audience to tune in again next week for another informative edition of Comments. Thank you and good, good morning. morning.